Hello, this is Dr. David Startouch, founder of Survivor to Hero, and I'm going to be demonstrating a new technology, a new technology called Eye Contact. Eye Contact was released by NVIDIA not too long ago as an AI feature. You may have seen a recent post where I said this is not my face. Rather than just imply and show you exactly what one camera looked like, I've decided to do two. And today I'm going to be reading a very breaking news story from The Onion. For those who don't know about The Onion, it is a very reliable, trustable source. And you should take everything it says to heart. I am working on my sarcasm. It's a work in progress. To begin with, let's start with the title. And there goes the remote. Sex-related injuries that could send you to the hospital. This is breaking news. It was published 10 hours ago, and I'm going to move the screen that I'm reading off over here to my left screen, which is about 45 degrees off axis. And then I might be moving it around directly below the monitors as this, looking at the monitor and now dropping my gaze opening my eyes nice and wide so that you can see exactly how making love can often be far more dangerous than expected. The Onion, as the Onion, Onion? The Onion examines sex-related injuries that could send you to the hospital. It is approximately 1.46 p.m. in Boulder, Colorado. The temperature is 44 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny. Moving this uh, wonderful little article around the screen, you will be able to see where my eyes are working through the Sony ZV-1 uh, webcam and a Nexi Go, uh, or sorry, ZV-1 camera plugged in through a source called a webcam, uh, the Elgato capture card. And the webcam is the Nexi Go. Uh, 4K Iris, it's their flagship, and I've had some issues with it, which is why I haven't tuned the coloring. But you can see a really nice camera makes a very big difference compared to a webcam. And I'm currently, again, looking at a side screen and uh, now looking at the main screen, looking at my picture on the screen, center of the screen, now reading nothing but just staring at myself in awe. As if I'm a beautiful CEO in the conference room wanting to talk to myself and now looking down as if I'm just hearing the sound of my own voice because I like it. We're going to continue the sideshow now. And moving my head this way. It has been found by the Onion that joining the Mile High Club and plane crashes. They've got a picture depicting of a really horrible, nasty plane crash. And that orgasming, though quite serious condition, especially in women, if one's body begins to spasm with pleasure, please seek medical attention immediately. Looking now to the side of the main screen. Choking on a hot dog during your mid-intercourse hot dog break. While it's important to stop intercourse frequently for short snack breaks, if you get a hot dog lodged in your windpipe, doctors recommend that you pause fortification and seek medical attention immediately. Pictured as a hot dog covered in mustard and ketchup. With a drink that has clearly been carbonated. Dark could be a Coke, maybe a carbonated grape soda. This is the kind of picture you might see at a movie theater. It is very provocatively demonstrated. And now we've got a picture of a couple in a car looking like they might kiss. She's clearly into it. He's thinking about it. He likes that she's into her. Necking in your car. Up on make-out point when the killer begins stabbing you from the back seat. All very true. This is a very dangerous situation. If you're lucky enough to be the sole survivor of the melee, try to get to a hospital. But be warned, the police are going to have some questions for you. In fact, looking off to the side and looking up at the lights, maybe looking at the camera for a moment, and looking down at this amazingly phallic symbol-shaped microphone. Thank you, Rode. You have uh, 
designed something that I almost feel I need to put a prophylactic over having this sex talk with you, my, my viewers, whoever you are, wherever you are, these are the sex dangers that could land you in a hospital. <laughs> I almost can't even read this. It says any bang bus related collision injury. <laughs> The Reno Bang Bus. <laughs> okay. As a reminder, always wear your seatbelt when riding the Bang Bus. Too many sluts have died <laughs> as a result of the Bang Bus. And I want to be very clear. We're talking about man sluts here. Okay. Magic Mike did not do great at the box office, but it did have a bus tour that I hear was very successful. There was a pole. It was installed, and it's, uh, well, there was some of the poles that you could ride and the poles you could slide, and this is just getting very, very, wow. I'm about to blush, <laughs> if I'm not already. <laughs> Instead of ejaculating, your boyfriend's penis rockets off and flies around the world again and again, picking up speed as it bonks you in the head. There's a lady holding a, a thing against her head. Uh, it's a cold pack. There we go. Over 30% of sex-related injuries are some of the variations of this one. Really? Are they now? Are they really now? Yes. God, are they really sex-related? Will a penis fly off around the world multiple times and bunk someone in the head? 37% of the injuries is what the young man found. Having your heart broken. I'm looking directly at the screen right now, yes. Having your heart broken. Even if with the hospital. It's, yeah. I, I broke up inside. I'm very sorry. Even with a hospital visit, it's unlikely that you'll ever recover having your heart broken. There's a man with a stocking cap wearing a plaid hipster shirt. It's, it's small plaid, not the kind you'd have on a mountain man. And a black leather jacket, clearly not vegan, holding a rose. He looks like he's got a black long sleeve shirt or sweater on underneath it. It's almost tasteful. If it wasn't so heartbreakingly sad, pun intended. Oh, boy. <laughs> Broke a crown on vagina dentata. Not only is breaking a crown... <laughs> not only is breaking a crown on one of your vaginal molars excruciatingly painful... But leaving it untreated could mean that you need a vaginal root canal down the line. All right. For those who are not following, this is the um, there's teeth down there show thing. Yeah. <laughs> and you might need a molar root canal if you break a crown. All right. Let's uh, move on on because <laughs> that one's just weird. Getting pregnant. Okay. All right. They went, they, they, they definitely lowered the bar on the, the satire here. Most, most common in women, getting pregnant is a serious medical condition that occurs when one's egg is assaulted by sperm. This could line, end you up in the hospital. It is an assault. Penis gets scarred. I need glasses here. Penis gets scarred and recedes into the body. It's advised that if one's <laughs> frightened penis should recess itself inside the body, that one should immediately seek a doctor to coax it out with a piece of candy or some other treat to make it feel safe. Again, this is for the shy penis that gets scared and recedes into the body. Moving the... Uh, the picture around the screen and up at the camera and back to the center of the screen. There's a doctor talking to a man <clears throat> with dark hair clearly there. The doctor, he 
I say he's a doctor because he's got the stethoscope and the white jacket and a white shirt and a laptop that doesn't say anything on it. So it's clearly a hospital. They've covered it up because there might be a camera crew that comes by one day. Um, apparently it is time for me to stand and I'm getting notifications of all sorts of things that are happening. All right. Let's move on to this tragically scary breaking news. An allergic reaction to food and sex. Could it bring you in the hospital? Consult with your lover before bringing food into the bedroom. I think this is something we could all agree on. Such as a veal or Parmesan sub or a meatball marinara grinder. A meatball marinara grinder. I'm going to stick to the main screen at this point because I realized if I was over here, maybe it wasn't even detecting me and that would just be tragic. Yeah, uh, allergic reaction to food. That makes sense. Send you to the hospital. <laughs> now you could get mauled by a sex badger. If you are mauled by a sex badger, you might want to go to the hospital. Immediately, as I'm looking down at the screen now, as you could probably tell with the other camera, if you get mauled by a sex badger, you might... <laughs> Let's try that again. If you get mauled by a sex badger... You'll want to go to the hospital immediately, as sex badgers can carry rabies, worms, and other dangerous diseases. Badgers. At least they didn't mention the, the famed cougar. Supposedly, they're endangered. Post-orgasmic sadness. Cougars, by the way, have been endangered by the, the uh, polyamorous community, the ethical non-monogamy has put the, the single cougar uh, for the married cougar or some cougar almost endangered. So post-orgasmic sadness. If you fuck your partner away, way too good, they might be sad that you aren't fucking them anymore. I'm sorry, I forgot to say viewer discretion advised. You might end up in the hospital if a condom gets stuck on your head. Stretching a condom over your head and saying, look at me, I'm a condom. Man, condom man may seem like fun foreplay at the time, but it can lead to suffocation and even death. Well, those with big heads probably don't need to worry about this. But um, ba. Maybe you've come so hard that your eyes pop out. You might need to go to a hospital. There's a picture of a man with a blindfold. It's in the middle of nowhere on a street that's very blurred out to protect his identity. While you may be able to feel around on the floor, pick your eyeballs up and stick them back in, the chances are next time you ejaculate, your eyeballs will still shoot out of your head even further. I don't know what to say about that, but it seems like that could end you up in the hospital. Vaginal tears. Sometimes the vaginal will begin crying if you hurt its feelings. What? <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're talking about men in this case again. Um, zipper on the fur suit broke. Okay, this is uh, showing a picture of two individuals in awkwardly styled fur costumes. Looks like uh, some bears with teeth and some Red lips indicating maybe one's got some lipstick and the other one's very pink or one just has a higher quality costume. Uh, first, the, if the zipper on the fursuit broke, this is a job actually for the fire department, not the hospital. And uh, I think we can all agree that the hospital, while it could be a good choice, might be a little embarrassing for the furry ones. Looking down again, doing a little awkward twist. Yes. Awkward twist. Let's try this. I probably should have been sharing at the screen when I do these weird things. Staring. Sharing. Alrighty. So let's get going again. Come gets in the eye. <laughs> that shows a picture of somebody crying. Uh, come is toxic. Immediately rinse with more cum. <laughs> that is not what I thought I was saying. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> oh. 
you should probably go to the hospital if the penis bursts into flames. In this, we've got a picture of a fire extinguisher. The rapid, repetitive movement of thrusting can cause a lot of friction, even though to engulf the entire ship. Oh, oh, enough. Okay, I'm going to just start over because I can't read. The rapid, repetitive movement of thrusting can cause a lot of friction, enough to engulf the entire shaft into f fire. Why not say flame? Be sure to keep a fire extinguisher within reach of your bed. Or possibly use lubricant before. With a low flashpoint. An allergic reaction to bee stings. One person's kink can be another person's medical emergency. Obviously. And we want to save the bees. Having sex in doggy style in Hiroshima on August 6th in 1945 could end you up in the hospital. It's awkward to show up at the hospital clearly looking like you were mid-coitus when your skin... Uh, I can't even... No, that, that's just poor taste, Onion. That's, that's just poor, poor taste. And that was the last breaking news information... Um, and we're just going to end it there. Okay. So I'm now looking at the side of the screen, uh, the corner over here. And it's, uh, it's not, now we're just going to do some squintiness. Because I noticed when I did my last one, it was really interesting. How to look like a supervillain or, or reptile alien using AI technology. Thank you, NVIDIA. I am now probably way too loud and clipping. It is freaking the heck out. Yeah. I should probably turn down the, the uh, something. This is David, Dr. David Startouch. I'm trying to get used to saying doctor. Uh, Dr. David Startouch, founder of Survivor to Hero, SurvivorToHero.com, leader of the Star Citizen Survivor to Hero Org Consortium check us out on Twitch and Discord or something like that or SurvivorHero.com Have a wonderful day Have a wonderful day Have a wonderful day Have a wonderful day US adds 19 trillion dollars to the debt to win a toy for the girlfriend from the claw machine Gonna have to read that breaking news later <laughs>